England's Paul Sass has won all but one of his fights by submission. His challenge tonight, becoming the first man to beat Jacob Volkman at 155 inside the octagon. Paul Sass in the red trunks, Southpaw Jacob Volkman in the white trunks. Very low stance for Paul Sass as he tried to come over the top with the right hand. Volkman ties up with him. Sass has a deep overhook on the right arm. He pulls guard. Volkman has a guillotine choke here. Volkman would love to get a finish. He's been working his submission game very intensely. He has a one-arm guillotine controlling the chin of Paul Sass, but as he's doing so, Sass is trying to move up and advance his legs. He gets the right knee in between him and Volkman, and he's created space. You see how he lifted his head up. He created space with that one-arm guillotine, so he should be out of danger, and he is. Now, Sass has a, a very strong overhook, and you see as he wraps up the right arm and pulls down with his legs, changes it to an omoplata shoulder lock, and good job transitioning out of that by Jacob Volkman. Doesn't surprise me at all that Sass is happy to fight on his back against Jacob Volkman. And it doesn't surprise me at all that Volkman's willing to engage him. Yep. Volkman very technical, both as a wrestler and as a submission fighter. And, you know, for the longest time, he didn't cut any weight and was very successful competing against much larger guys because of his technical skill. Now, as you see here, Volkman's got to be careful of that left arm. When he wraps his arms around and put, pins his, his arms down like that, he puts himself in jeopardy with the long legs of Paul Sass when Sass throws up triangles and arm bars. And he's going to attack that shoulder again. There it is. There's the triangle. Locked up. Can he finish it right here? It, it is it. all over. Just like that. Paul Sass, the submission machine. You cannot let your arms go to the mat with Paul Sass. When he has that overhook and he has your arm pinned to the mat like that, he it just opens up the door for him to attack. His triangle is just too good. Let's see it again. Note, note the, the right arm. See, that arm is on the mat. And when that arm is on the mat, he's in trouble. He traps it with his arm, with his leg, rather, slaps that triangle on, and then attacks that arm with an arm bar and a triangle at the same time. Volkman was in deep, deep trouble, knew he had to tap. And it all started out with that overlook where Volkman had that left arm trapped to the mat. With a guy like Paul Sass, you have to keep your hands on his chest at all times. You can never let a hand go to the mat and let him wrap a leg around it. Brilliant, brilliant job by Paul Sass. Everyone knows what he's going to do, and he can still do it. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 54 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a submission from a triangle arm bar, Paul Sass.